Today we are working on a couple thinking strategies in our math. They were randomly ordered with playing cards in groups of three. Before they tackled the word problem, they needed to write down what the word problem was telling them. Before they wrote their equation, define their variable, etc. I started working with our dissertosas in math a few years ago and started working on these models where the kids were getting up, working with each other, collaborating, working through their own strategies and give them some guiding questions and have them work through things instead of this is how you do it and this is the answer you get and do 20 problems and I'll test you tomorrow. That's what we're kind of getting away from. We want kids to be able to, to, to think for themselves, find answers, use the resources that we give them. The thinking strategies build into that because it gives them a guide to their thinking. These next two days are of paramount importance for your journey as math educators. Mathematics plays a pivotal role in preparing students for the global workforce. Math has the power to unlock students' curiosity about the world around them while also equipping them with the problem solving and critical thinking skills they need to engage as citizens so learners can obtain a deeper understanding of math and see themselves as mathematicians. That was actually a big piece of our the PD that we did um, with uh, Staff Development Day is they really focused on the beliefs that all students can learn because math students sometimes are like, oh, I don't like math or a teacher. Oh, that's not really my thing. But if we believe it, I mean, anybody can learn if they have the right tools, strategies, we can do it. We can all learn math. I kind of have a sar sarcastic approach with my students because I know they come in first thing I ask them like everybody loves math right and they're like no way math and I tell them well by the end of this year you're going to find that math can be fun you're going to find a part of math that you love and that is my goal is to make sure you can find a part of math that you love we always talk about fractions being our friends we fake smile through the friends because we have no fractions but we're going to make them our friends right and also letting them know that it's okay to make mistakes they want the answer right away it's not helping them to give them the answer right away without having them struggle or having them think through it. So I celebrate mistakes and we learn from those mistakes. And I find when they are comfortable making those mistakes, they're okay and they want to correct those mistakes. I saw a lot of growth in my map testing and a lot of map testing and state testing has a lot of verbiage in it. A lot of kids see a bunch of words and they're, I'm not gonna read that, I'm not gonna do that. These um, strategies help them work through what those problems mean finding their purpose, determining importance, um, using mental models to, to figure out what that means to them, representations. And I just saw them working independently more, not coming to my desk, did I get this right? Did I get this right? I don't tell them if they got it right. I want them to tell me if they got it right, be confident. Their confidence became better. There's so many different ways that kids can go about doing math. And I want to break the, the mold of one way is the way to do it, rather than there's multiple strategies. And that's what makes math fun, it's like, like a puzzle. 